Well then, let us observe the sun. There has been a high solar wind alert today, along with a minor geomagnetic storm. The dial on the left shows the density of the solar wind, as you can see the gauge is maxed out. The dial on the right shows the pressure of the wind, which is showing the pressure up in the red range. The KP index has reached a threshold of 5 at 2035 coordinated universal time. The KP5 measurement indicates, and G1 geomagnetic storm is occurring. Shown on the WSA and LIL solar wind prediction model, on top, density and bottom, the velocity of the solar wind, 6th through the 13th. Starting on the 8th to the 9th, Earth gets higher density of solar wind, while the velocity tops out on the 11th. We can observe the high pressure, occurring today on this geomagnetosphere model. Notice the thick red plasma, around the Earth, the pressure increases through the day. On this geoelectric field model, is a measure of the induction hazard to artificial conductors, such as electrical power lines, that results from geomagnetic activity, and can be used to estimate the amount of current induced by integrating along the conducting pathway. The activity is elevated across the United States, but on the eastern coast is more concentrated geomagnetic activity. Thanks for watching. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you.